a really well pitched game and the offense coming through. Just what did you see of the team overall? I thought Olivia had one of her better outings of all time uh, because Towson can really hit and she had the, the perfect game going into that. Uh, I believe it was sixth inning where she gave up a walk and the seventh inning she gave up the hit, but uh, um, she really threw the ball well today, uh, third day on. You know, so she's really, uh, really, really throwing it well. She's hit uh, great, great spots today and. Uh, Get them off balance with a couple of off speeds and knuckle balls going for her. So it was it was just really good to see her throw. Um, and then we have some sparkling defensive plays. You know, um, DJ comes up with this, just a great play. Uh, you know, trying to take away the or you know trying to keep the no hitter in the attack. And then uh, you know got some timely hitting early. And the thing that I really uh, like that sometimes we overlook is the base running. We made some very good and key um, offensive moves on the bases. So that was that was good all around performance. You know, that play by DJ, it's not easy to come off the bench cold like that and only play a couple of innings and be able to make a, a catch like that. So when you see your bench and you've seen it all throughout the season really contributing, just how much of a lift does that give the team? Big time because, you know, we, we want to give people um, opportunities into uh, um, places that they're going to be coming down the stretch here in the playoffs and then you know we want to put them into situations where they're going to get the experience that they're going to need you know later on in the season you know with the, with the uh, championships coming up so you know we're just we're just real happy that she was able to make that catch I was kidding Lava you know who, who made some sparkling catches yesterday I was saying boy good thing I made that substitution and we all had a laugh about it. Erin Trippy hits a home run back-to-back -back days. All four of her home runs this season have come in conference play for a freshman. Just how good is that to see that she's hitting her home runs in these clutch games? Yeah, and it's and she's getting great swings and she's hitting the ball hard all the time. Um, I think the big thing about today was that we had so many hitters that were squaring the ball up and hitting it hard. You know, Trippy got a couple out, uh, Thorne got one out, and OG hit a couple that were right on the button. You know, um, one where the third baseman turned it into a double play, and then you know. We had um, two or three shots that went went to the fence. So you know, with a little bit of wind blowing in on any given conditions, we might have had a couple more home runs. But uh, it was really, really great to see everyone in the lineup really squaring the ball up. It seems this season Chris's home run uh, potential and power has really increased from previous seasons. Just what have you seen out of her? She's beginning to use a lower half, and that's the key. When she gets that lower half involved, she's got pop. She's such a great athlete. She got a lot of quick twitch muscle fiber. And she's finally figured how to sync everything up from the ground up, and she's really getting the bat head to the ball. So it's really great to see her, you know, finally, you know, figure out how to get some power into her already good average game. You know, she had like 275, 280 last year, but now she's getting more, more uh, percentage points on her batting average because a couple of balls are leaving the park now, and she's hitting the ball harder. Um, and it's all coming from the lower half. And finally, I know you don't like to talk about you, but. Uh, you've clinched the number one seed. It's a 21st straight season with either a regular season or a conference tournament title. And when you have that type of longevity and that just type of long-term consistent success year after year, just what does that mean to you and your coaching staff? <laughs> yeah, it means I have uh, great coaches, you know, and uh, good players. You know, it's not about me. You know, never has been. It's always about the, uh, the coaching staff, and the coaching staff has been. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm fighting the cold here. Um, coaching staff has been great. AD and Courtney and, and Larissa, you know, calls a great game, and, and has been calling a great game for like 10 years. You know, so I just sit back and watch them play. I watch them work at practice, and then they do all the work, and and the players respond. So, you know, I get some wins and losses, but they they should get all the credit. Yeah, it's funny when you think back to the first one that you won in 1992 and you think of all the changes from then and now, I guess it probably would have been difficult to imagine that 21 straight seasons and all that would change, but the level of success is still the same. Well, you know, there's an old old expression that the more things change, the more they stay the same. If you keep the same philosophy and if your philosophy is sound and if you're true to your culture, you know, we, we, which is a hospice softball culture, um, and you bring in the right kids and you have the right staff, things work out.